A scan is time amplitude. Time is along the bottom, and amplitude is vertical. It gives you a bunch of lines, and those lines define how strongly the echoes are displayed. But if you'll contemplate an A-scan probe on the front of an eye, just as if you were going to make an axial length measurement, you would get back one A-scan, usually demonstrating the front and the back of the lens, as well as the beginning of the retinal spike. Those would be three vertical lines. But how can you make that into an intensity modulated system, a B-scan? If you move the probe up and down the eye, maybe 125 different places, and took an A-scan from each one, and then carefully picked them up, turned them 90 degrees, those lines would come forward enough to cause the phosphors on the front of a screen to glow, and they would give you three dots. Connecting the dots would basically give you a B-scan. One further point. Often when you're in simultaneous A-scan, B-scan mode, you will see a vector line across the screen. That vector line actually represents the one A-scan in that site, at that position, that is displayed at the bottom of the screen. With simultaneous A-scan during a B-scan, you can tell whether or not you're perpendicular to an object that you're trying to follow. And quite frankly, it is easier to measure the height of a returning echo in amplitude than it is to be able to discern a difference in its brightness.